There's been a ton of buzz surrounding this book lately, and it comes bearing some weighty recommendations, which is the only reason why I picked it up in the first place. This thing is a doorstop of a novel weighing in at over 700 pages, and I absolutely hate the cover. Every time I look at it, I can't help but see Bill Pullman in Independence Day lamenting the fact that the aliens just blew up the White House. But more on the cover later. It starts out following four friends as they graduate from college and try to make their way in New York. Willem waits tables between auditions. JB squats at a friend's artist's loft. Malcolm broods behind a desk in a large architectural firm. And Jude bides his time working at the U.S. Attorney's Office. It's your typical 20-somethings making their name in New York. The cliché of countless young, hipster, white, male writers. Except Hanya Yanagahara is an Asian-American female writing primarily about men. I'm reminded of Chang Rei Li after writing the novel Aloft and having an interviewer remark incredulously how well he was able to write white people. Yanagahara said she wanted to explore our culture's lack of imagination as to what it means to be a man and how we're given such a small emotional palette to work with. Jude St. Francis is her vehicle to explore this idea. Jude carries lots of secrets deep within him, but they chase after him like bloodthirsty hyenas. And despite being surrounded by people who love and care for him unconditionally, He's still plagued with feelings of, of doubt, questioning his self-worth, and whether he's even deserving of love and affection of others. Yanagahara starts narrowing her focus in the second half of the book. Those secrets that are alluded to briefly are explored more carefully and more precisely now, um, and it packs this huge emotional wallop. If you have a trigger, chances are it's in this book, and I don't tell you that to deter you. I love Jason's review at Beyond the Realms. Despite it portraying every conceivable abuse in vivid, unrelenting detail, it had a profound impact on him, and it is easily one of the greatest books he's ever read. Ann Kingman, over the podcast Books on the Nightstand, had to devote an entire podcast to the book itself. It is easily her favorite book of the year and probably in her top five of all time, despite the fact that it absolutely emotionally devastated her. This book can be difficult to read. It's harrowing, and it's not for everyone, but it's also jaw-droppingly good. All right, as to that cover, Yanagahara was absolutely insistent on this one point. It is a photo from the photographer Peter Hujar called Orgastic Man 1 from his Orgastic Man series. Clearly, it is not a photo of a man in pain, but actually that of a man at the peak of orgasm. This duality is important and maybe a little bit uncomfortable given the nature of what's explored within the book itself, but... Now I can see why Hanya Yanagahara insisted on it for the cover. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara. This thing is going to kick your ass. Mm -hmm.